Fox News analyst Britt Hume. Here is what Britt said yesterday about Donald Trump's political track record. Well, those losses in the midterms and eventually the presidency are not uh, are disappointing performances and losses. Uh, they're real. They happened. There's no doubt about it. There's no way around it. And the, and the case can be made that he's a loser, because since he got elected in 2016, he's compiled a string of them. Or his, either he or his, can, his supported candidates have lost too many races. Right now, people are voting their hearts, and they're voting for, they tend to vote in primaries for the candidates that they feel closest to, or that they, you know, they, they, they'd like to see president. They're not voting about who they think could get elected. Uh, that may come back to haunt the Republican Party in 2024 because um, you look at the Democrats and what they think of the race. They think Biden, they think that Trump is going to win the nomination, and they think Biden will beat him because he did beat him. Let's bring in former White House Director of Communications to President Obama, Jen Palmieri. Jen, good morning. Great to see you as always. So, Brit Hume didn't say anything earth-shattering there. He merely spoke the truth on Fox News about the results of the last several elections, just the way Vice President Pence, as we showed a little bit earlier, spoke the truth on the limits of what he could do on January 6th to a voter who was asking him why he didn't, quote, kick it back to the states so Donald Trump could win. The question we've been asking this morning, these are moments of truth-telling to Republicans watching, Republicans listening at campaign events. Do they matter? Are they all in with Donald Trump anyway? I think it I think it's too I think it is too early to I mean look, Trump is doing great a lot of polls have him at 51 percent anytime you're over 50 in a multi in a huge field like this that is a very big lead and it's hard to overcome it is still early um so I think that you you, you cannot you still cannot conclude that we're going to end up with um with Trump we, just, we we don't we don't know that for sure the message that I saw from Koch you know that's an effective message if it came out of a candidate's mouth um, and, you know, you don't see Chris Christie's making that argument. If Ron DeSantis wants to win, he should probably be making that argument. The Republican primary is about Donald Trump. It is about whether or not he can win, whether or not he's the best standard bearer, whether or not he has the hearts of the Republican electorate. And I think that, you know, it, that's an effective argument. And I have heard I've heard Republican primary voters say to me they're worried that Trump can't beat Biden. Um, they're still going with him because they feel in their gut that he's their guy. Um, so that could be an effective argument, but like candidates aren't making it. And unless a candidate is actually making that argument, I don't know that a you know third party group with uh, you know like the Koch brothers is going to have a big impact.